I'm making Cat in the North's chocolate cupcakes. I was able to get a nice smooth batter using just a wooden spoon and finishing it off with this whisk. This is my Rada whisk that my subscriber Becky got me. So that cupcake batter looks perfect. Okay, here's the update. Power is on for the moment, but I do not think it's going to stay on for long. The weather is getting pretty wild out there. I just put the cupcakes into the electric oven, and the plan is if the power goes out before they're done, I will just leave the door closed and let them finish cooking with what heat is in the oven. If the power goes out immediately after they go in there, then I will take them to my friend's house because we got to pop by there and do something for her and I will put them in her gas oven. And if that doesn't work out, then I will have my husband pull the generator out onto the deck, fire it up, run an extension cord in, and I will put my plug my toaster oven in and bake them that way. So I'll keep you posted. There is the frosting. I've hurried and gotten that made immediately. I added a little milk so that it won't be trying to set up on me while the cupcakes are cooking and cooling, but I didn't dare wait because I knew I would le need the electric mixer to get the frosting smooth. And I don't know how long the power is going to be on, I did use butter instead of shortening in the frosting because we have a shortening allergy here, but I used the same flavoring that she used in her frosting and we just taste tested it and it is delicious. I cannot wait to see what this tastes like on the cupcakes. Okay, and they are out. I didn't get quite two dozen and I doubled the batch. These ones with the ring around them, I ran out of cupcake wrappers and it made a little ring around them, but they smell so good. And I listened in the oven and when I couldn't hear them making a faint little sound, I knew they were done. Pulled them from the oven, poked them with a toothpick and it come out clear. So as soon as these cool down, I will get the frosting on and put some Christmas sprinkles. Okay, here they are all done. The ones that I'm giving away, I have put in these metal tins and I got these on clearance after Christmas last year. And the covers will go right on. And then we still have a good amount left for us to have. And I have frosted and tried one of these cupcakes myself. And I am here to tell you that even on a day that the power is going on and off, these were so fast, so easy to make. They are so moist and delicious, and that frosting is wow. I can't say enough good about these. I'm very excited to be able to give these as a gift, and I hope you guys will check out her channel, Cat in the North, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.